Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Yeah, I'm in the same clothes that I was in for the Audi haul because I did both of these shops on the same day. So, I'm just about to do a... Well, this has been put in a Pep & Co bag because I have got stuff from Pep & Co. But it is a Poundland haul. So, stay right there and I'll start to get everything up and show you what I've got in Poundland. Okay, so I'm going to just delve in, no particular order. Okay, I'm just kind of going to get straight back in into the bag and get it out to show you guys. So the first thing I've got, and I haven't taken this out of the box, so I've no idea what it even looks like, but I needed a new um, in-car phone holder. So I picked this up. No idea what it's like, as I say. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? Okay, so I don't know how this works at all, but so um, you hold this, you attach your phone to that, this then goes, you open that, put it onto your dashboard or your window, you do it like that to get the suction and that's meant to do the job, so I'll let you know if it does. So that's that one. Um, I also picked up quite a few batteries, I just need to... Um, find them all oh i'll come across them all anyway um so i picked up a pack of the double a there are 14 in here and they're just brilliant price a pound for those um so i picked up some more of these that they this is the makeup gallery in poundland and just some more of the little cotton pads needed some more of those um what's this one Oh, again, Makeup Gallery, and this is the Nail Buffer Pack. So there's four in there. Um, yeah, I'm trying to grow my own nails. They're in such bad condition, honestly. So I thought I'll have a go at doing the buffing and see if I can stimulate a bit of growth there. Um, picked up some of these. Chris likes these. He's not a great crisp lover. However, he does like these. Um, just these little, the little mini minks. Oh, excuse me, cheesy biscuits. So pick those up for him. Um, some more of the um, Batiste dry shampoo. This is the Double X Volume dry shampoo. So I picked up that one for me. Okay, so this um, here we've got the pack of the Treble A batteries. So always need batteries in, don't you, for one thing or another. For when I do a bit of dusting. Um, I picked up this one, it's the it's the microfiber duster, but it's the telescopic one because being a little short ass, can't reach a lot up high. So uh, I thought when I do tops of um, pictures and stuff like that, I can just pull the arm out, the handle out, and then I can get it. Um, what else have I got? Also picked up this. Um, this is buns on top, a donut set. Um, just so I can stick my hair back up. Um, you know, do like a little bun or something. And it also comes with two hair bubbles and the hair grips. So I've got that, bargain. I picked up a pack of three nail clippers. Um, yeah, my son needs these. So yes, he's old enough to get them himself, but he's, um, He's poorly at the moment, so yeah, he's in hospital poorly, so and he needs to have his, he needs to cut his nails, put it that way, so yeah, got those for him. Uh, also picked up these two, they're, again, they're from the makeup gallery, um, and they're the makeup sponges, so they're both blending sponges, but both a little different, so I picked up these two. I have to say, I don't think I've used this before. Not 100%, I couldn't swear to it, but I don't think that I have. I think I've used the Primark ones, but not these. So I thought I'd give those a go. Um, oh, okay. Um, this is a lever suction hook. I have been putting around my shower curtain um, one of the, you know, like the the curtain tie backs that you can get um, and it's got like all the glitter it's got it's got a tassel on it and glitter um, like diamantes on it um, anyway I've got one of those and I've been putting it around my uh, shower curtain just to make it look nice and um, anyway I needed 
one of these. So, yeah, got that up. Another job for Chris. I picked up two pairs of really cheap reading glasses. Now, as you know, I'm always breaking my glasses and I need to get back to the opticians and have my eyes tested properly and to get some, you know, proper prescription glasses. However, meanwhile, I know that I'm a plus three. I know my eyesight's pretty rubbish for reading. Um, so I just picked up two pairs of glasses that I can just keep dotted around in drawers so that if I do break a pair or anything you know lose a pair i've got something that i can just fall back on so picked these ones up um so they're like a purpley color and they've got like this lovely little diamond tea at each side there um, and then i picked up these these have got the red i don't know if they're red or pink actually in the shop they look more red but now they're looking a little bit more pink so i really don't know what color they are um but they're like between a red and a pink i guess more pinky i think um and again same sort of style but just plain at the front well tortoise shell at the front so i've got those um i picked up got these some haribos all these Haribos, it's the giant strawberries then, another bag of giant strawberries and some Star Mix. They were 50p, so I picked up those 50p each. Um, picked up some of these Haribo again. Um, we really like these instead of the kids when they come. They were a pound. Um, oh, Chris needed a new torch, so I picked him up this. Um, and I've also got the batteries somewhere here to go in this torch. So yeah, he needed that. He has got a torch, but it's kind of quite small. And I think this one will give out a little bit more light. Um, I picked up some socks for Chris. He absolutely hates, hates the traditional type of trainer sock. But I saw these in there because... Um, if you don't know, Poundland have got, another part of Poundland is Pep and Co. And um, oh, I'm just going to sit down because my back's absolutely killing me, guys. Let me just pick these up. There, move those. Mind Billy, please. Shush. Elsie. Yeah, Pep & Co is actually part of Poundland, um, and it's clothing, it's ladies' menswear, children's, it's very, very good value, um, and it is fairly new, I guess. Um, anyway, I saw these socks in there, and I thought, well, I'll get gravels for Chris, because he does like a white cotton sock, and they are, and there's five pairs in here, they were three pounds. I mean, that's amazing value, and he absolutely hates, as I, as I say, he doesn't really like a trainer sock, but I thought these were a little bit different because they, as far as I can see, they would sit up around the ankle a lot better, so I'll see how he gets on with those. Um, what else have I got to delve into here? Oh, another pack of the Haribo Star Mix, the 50p ones. If I look like I've come down a little bit, it's because I've just sat down. Um, yeah, I've got a terrible, terrible backache. I'm just going to lower the camera, actually. No. Yeah, so another packet of these. They were 50p. Um, what else have I got in here? Oh, um, some more pedal, pedal bin bags. 50 in here for 25 litres. The 25 litre size um, bin. Obviously a pound. I mean, I'm saying obviously a pound, but some things aren't, and I actually have got some things that weren't. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the batteries for the torch. So it's 2D type batteries for the torch. Um, also picked up some new jammies for myself. So these say we'll wake We'll wake for brunch and it's got this dear little picture of a little pug very me isn't it with the dogs um, and then so that's gray with just like the, the little pug and the pink 
on it. The pyjama bottoms are like these little love hearts in like the blue and the pink, little polka dots and with a, a white background. And I just love a new pair of jammies. And I saw those, how much were these? These were seven pounds. So I thought that was really good. So that's that, the Germany's. Um, I also picked up two bras and I have never ever worn their bras ever, ever. So I've no idea what they're going to be like, but I can take them back if they're not any good. Um, and so these are a, there are 40 double D lace trim bra and it was, um, they were either £3.50 each or two for £5. And I just thought for a little t-shirt bra, I'm going to give them a go, see what they're like. Um, so I've got the black one here. So let me get a bit closer and you can see the little, there you go. See, see all that little lacy design, how pretty is that? And then on the back, if I turn it around, there you go. So pretty, isn't it? Got it in the black and I also picked it up in this really pretty sort of baby blue colour as well. So again, it's got that lacy pattern here underneath the cup. And then when you turn it around, you've got this really pretty lacy pattern on the back, um, the adjustable straps. So I thought I'll give them a go. If they don't fit very nicely, I'll just take them back and return them. Um, but they did them in, they did it in white, cream, black, blue, um, coral. They did it in beautiful coral, but they didn't have my size. I'm sure there were some other colors there. Okay, these are a pair of, they're jeggings. Um, they're light cross stretch jeggings. I've picked them up in navy blue. I've picked them up in navy blue. Um, they had them in like stone wash. They had, um, what do you call that? Like faded, they had them in the faded denim. They had them in black. They had them in, they had them in white. They had them in cream. They had them in nude. They had them in red. They had them in khaki. Absolutely loads, but I don't know what they fit like yet. So I thought, well, I'll just get these, see what they're like, and then if they're any good, then I need to get some more. Um, these were seven pounds, and um, they've got like pockets on the back, on your bottom there. Um, nice stretchy waistband. Um, yeah, and I just thought they're kind of quite a slim, leg and they will probably be miles too long for me um, but in that case I just turn them up do like a little turn up look um, okay so the other thing I purchased so that's one bag up some of the um, extra large bubble envelopes because I'm selling some stuff on eBay at the moment that I don't need and they will fit very nicely into these so I picked up those um, go. I also picked up two of these. I've been admiring these for a little while now, and I don't know why I just haven't picked them up. I think it was because I was thinking, if I get them, where am I going to put them? Well, if I get one, where am I going to put it? Um, I knew what I wanted to do with it, as in what I wanted to display in it, but I thought, where am I going to put it? I've got so much stuff, but... Then I saw them again today and, you know, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to grab them. I'm going to grab two um, because I'll just find somewhere to put it at the end of the day. So I've picked up two of these and I'm actually going to give one of them to my daughter because I know she'll be a bit jealous. <laughs> Aren't you, Hannah? Um, and I picked up these. Elsie's just ruined it because they had little tiny green well, I think this one still has actually. Yeah, like that. That had it. Elsie's just ruined this one because she's just taken them off. Um, so I should give this one to her. I'll keep this for myself and I'll just trim that down so it looks okay. Um, but the idea is that this I, this needs to be cut down, of course. So it won't be like that long. Um, but if I just do this to give an impression of what it's going to be like. It will just literally be a bit like that, but only displayed a little bit better. So just have this little, um, it's like a little, 
what do you call this? A little jug, isn't it really? Um, and then I just thought, just display it somewhere. And then this can be bent into a different shape. So it's not just straight up. You can sort of bend it a little bit. Um, pull these out a little bit to display it easier. Make it look a bit prettier and a bit more realistic. And um, just display it nicely. And I love this sort of thing. So that looks really, really well, once it's in properly, sort of bent over like that, it looks really, really pretty. So I've got one for me and one for Hannah. For Hannah. What have you got now, Mrs? Oh, my word. Um, anyway, then I saw these, and I saw this. Um, it's. I just thought it was amazing, and it's corgi as well. Now, Elsie's just got to this box and put her teeth into the top as you can see yeah this is by corgi and i was just so impressed with this i thought i'm going to pick it up and i'm going to put it by for one of lennox's christmas presents um this one it has got like the garage and um and this has got the the lorries here and they are the eddie Eddie Stobart. Is it Stobart or Stobart? I think it's Stobart, isn't it? They're the Eddie Stobart trucks. Um, both of them are a little bit different, like, and because Lennox is three, he was only three last month, so I think by Christmas he'd probably, I mean he does play with cars and that now, but by Christmas he'd be that little tiny bit older and, um, you know, maybe he'd be able to play with them with a little bit more imagination, if you know what I mean. So I picked up this, and this, I couldn't believe it, was two pounds, two pounds. And it's corgi, honestly, I just thought it's amazing. And they do all of this, all this different range here. So every time I go in there now, I'm gonna have a look, or every time I go to Poundland, I'm gonna have a look and just see what I can buy to go with this particular range. Um, I mean, there's the there's ambulance, police cars, tractors, police helicopters, fire engines. Um, oh, I don't know what you call these, like delivery trucks, trailers, or um, rollers, all sorts of grass cutters, all sorts of stuff there. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'll keep my eye out for those, and I just got two pounds. Oh, sorry. Two, Sorry guys, if I'm coming across as being really tired, I, I've got a really bad headache today. Anyway, not moaning. Um, and then I saw this. Now this, this is called Rose, what's it called? Roadster. Um, and it just reminds me of the Hot Wheels. It's not Hot Wheels, but it reminds me of Hot Wheels. Um, you've got the thing that, where the, the racing cars go on here and they go up and they flip down and you've got three cars there. Again, this was two pounds. And I thought, yep, yeah, I'm gonna keep this back for him as well. And I just think if I, I mean, as I say, it's only gonna be, he's three. So he's, you know, only gonna be like, well, sort of three, just over three and a half by the time Christmas comes. And, um, I just thought if I can get him several, quite a few of all these types of things and wrap them up, he'd have so much to open, wouldn't he? And it's so hard to know what to buy kids these days anyway. Uh, and I just thought, yeah, just give him some toys to, you know, get that old imagination going. Was everything that I got in Poundland, but I'm just going to just add a couple of things I got in Superdrive, because I popped in there as well. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was this for my hair. Um, it's just one of those clips like that. Okay, just one of those. This was reduced to 10p, so I thought, oh, I'll get that. And then when I put my hair up, that looked quite pretty. 10p, can't go wrong with that one. And then I bought two hair dyes. They were, um, what were they? five pounds something each or I think they were 5.99 each or two for nine pounds so I got the two for nine pounds and you know like the last time you saw me do my hair color my hair I did it red um, and I absolutely loved it and I I've still got some of those hair colors left 
Um, and I loved it, but I've got a little bit more adventurous, and so I've decided to go even more red. the years ago when I was much younger I always had my hair red always 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 had my hair red but it was a henna back then um, and I absolutely loved it and I know I'm not young anymore um, however with age comes confidence I suppose and so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it anyway and um, you may be surprised to see the color however it's this Look at that, isn't it beautiful? She's got beautiful hair anyway. I mean, you know, I won't look like that, I know. But I am loving the colour. So I'm going to be completely daring and I'm going to do it. When I do it, I will film it so that you can see me doing it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to I I did. I did consider maybe doing it today, but I'm not going to do it today now. I've got this blooming headache, so it's a long time to do it. Oh, excuse me, mister. Mr. Vinny, stop. I'm due, missus. Like butter wouldn't melt now on the sofa. Yep, so that's it then, guys. This is the end of my Poundland haul. Um, Chris and I are going to do another sort of like couples challenge. Um, the one, the video that I did with Chris when he did my makeup for me, put my makeup on me, that went down really, really well. Lots of people really liked it, and um, quite a few people have said, "Oh, I'd like to see more of you two doing things together." Um, so I did consider letting him dye my hair, and I thought, "No, that's a little bit too risky." <laughs> Um, so I'm not going to do that, but um, we are both going to do the dress each other in Primark. So we will give each other a certain amount of money. Um, I don't know what it's going to be yet. I think we'll probably go with something like £30 each or something. £25, £30. And um, he's got to get me an outfit for that and I've got to get him an outfit for it. It doesn't matter what the outfit is, it could be it could be pajamas, slippers and a dressing gown, it could be it could be t-shirts, um, jogging bottoms and shoes. It could be for me, it could be um, let's think, it could be it could be leggings, a top and a pair of shoes, it could be a skirt, a top, a handbag, and she, I don't know, it could be anything. As long as it's an outfit, um, we are going to do that. So we will probably do that in the next couple of weeks, I think, because we are, we are quite busy at the moment with sort of like people going away on holiday and their dogs coming in and everything. So yeah, we are quite busy. Um, where we either go in together or I go, then he goes, and then we just sort of show each other like as I'm filming it, what we've got. So that'd be quite fun. So yeah, that's something else to look out for then. But thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could. Um, and then, you know, you'll be you'll be there on board. Then guys, so I'm gonna see you all in the next video. Uh, so stay safe and stay fabulous. Bye everyone, bye.